Ernst Waldfried Joseph Wenzel Mack was an Austrian physicist and philosopher, noted for his contributions to physics such as the Mach number and the study of shock waves. As a philosopher of science, he was a major influence on logical positivism, American pragmatism and through his criticism of Newton, a forerunner of Einstein's relativity. Biography Ernst Waldfried Joseph Wenzel Mack was born in Brn Oklasi, Moravia. His father, who had graduated from Charles University in Prague, acted as tutor to the noble Brethren family in Zedlin, eastern Moravia. His grandfather, Wenzel Lanhaus, an administrator of the estate Churlitz, was also master builder of the streets there. His activities in that field later influenced the theoretical work of Ernst Mack. Some sources give Mack's birthplace his Turas, Turani, the site of the Churlitz Registry Office. Peregrine Vice baptized Ernst Mack into the Roman Catholic Church in Turas, Turani. Despite his Catholic background, he later became an atheist and his theory in life is compared with Buddhism. Up to the age of 14, Mack received his education at home from his parents. He then entered a gymnasium in Cromorise, where he studied for three years. In 1855 he became a student at the University of Vienna. His early work focused on the Doppler effect in optics and acoustics. In 1864 he took a job as professor of mathematics at the University of Graz. Having turned down the position of a chair in surgery at the University of Salzburg to do so, and in 1866 he was appointed as Professor of Physics. During that period, Mack continued his work in psychophysics and in sensory perception. In 1867, he took the chair of experimental physics at the Charles University, Prague, where he stayed for 28 years before returning to Vienna. Mack's main contribution to physics involved his description and photographs of spark shock waves and then ballistic shock waves. He described how when a bullet or shell moved faster than the speed of sound, it created a compression of air in front of it. Using Schlieren photography, he and his son Ludwig were able to photograph the shadows of the invisible shock waves. During the early 1890s Ludwig was able to invent an interferometer which allowed for much clearer photographs. But Mack also made many contributions to psychology and physiology, including his anticipation of Gestalt phenomena, his discovery of the oblique effect and of Mack bands, an inhibition influence type of visual illusion, and especially his discovery of a non-acoustic function of the inner ear which helps control human balance. One of the best known of Mack's ideas is the so-called Mack principle, concerning the physical origin of inertia. This was never written down by Mack, but was given a graphic verbal form, attributed by Philip Frank to Mack himself, as, when the subway jerks. It's the fixed stars that throw you down. Mack also became well known for his philosophy developed in close interplay with his science. Mack defended a type of phenomenalism recognizing only sensations as real. This position seemed incompatible with the view of atoms and molecules as external, mind-independent things. He famously declared, after an 1897 lecture by Ludwig Boltzmann at the Imperial Academy of Science in Vienna, I don't believe that atoms exist. From about 1908 to 1911 Mack's reluctance to acknowledge the reality of atoms was criticized by Max Planck as being incompatible with physics. Einstein's 1905 demonstration that the statistical fluctuations of atoms allowed measurement of their existence without direct individuated sensory evidence marked a turning point in the acceptance of atomic theory. Some of Mack's criticisms of Newton's position on space and time influenced Einstein, but later Einstein realized that Mack was basically opposed to Newton's philosophy and concluded that his physical criticism was not sound. In 1898 Mack suffered from cardiac arrest and in 1901 retired from the University of Vienna and was appointed to the upper chamber of the Austrian. Parliament. On leaving Vienna in 1913 he moved to his son's home in Vatistetten, near Munich. 
where he continued writing and corresponding until his death in 1916. His current living descendant is Marilyn Voss Savant. Physics Most of Mack's initial studies in the field of experimental physics concentrated on the interference, diffraction, polarization and refraction of light in different media under external influences. From there followed important explorations in the field of supersonic fluid mechanics. Mack and physicist photographer Peter Salcher presented their paper on this subject in 1887. It correctly describes the sound effects observed during the supersonic motion of a projectile. They deduced and experimentally confirmed the existence of a shock wave which of conical shape with the projectile at the apex. The ratio of the speed of a fluid to the local speed of sound VP versus is now called the Mach number. It is a critical parameter in the description of high-speed fluid movement in aerodynamics and hydrodynamics. Mack also contributed to cosmology the hypothesis known as Mach's principle, philosophy of science. From 1895 to 1901, Mack held a newly created chair for the History and Philosophy of the Inductive Sciences at the University of Vienna. In his historico-philosophical studies, Mack developed a phenomenalistic philosophy of science which became influential in the 19th and 20th centuries. He originally saw scientific laws as summaries of experimental events, constructed for the purpose of making complex data comprehensible, but later emphasized mathematical functions as a more useful way to describe sensory appearances. Thus scientific laws, while somewhat idealized, have more to do with describing sensations than with reality as it exists beyond sensations. Max positivism also influenced many Russian Marxists, such as Alexander Bogdanov. In 1908, Lenin wrote a philosophical work, Materialism and Imperio-Criticism, in which he criticized Machism and the views of Russian Marxists. In accordance with this philosophy, Mack opposed Ludwig Boltzmann and others who proposed an atomic theory of physics. Since one cannot observe things as small as atoms directly, and since no atomic model at the time was consistent, the atomic hypothesis seemed to Mack to be unwarranted, and perhaps not sufficiently economical. Mack had a direct influence on the Vienna Circle philosophers and the school of logical positivism in general. Mack is attributed with a number of principles that distill his ideal of physical theorization, what is now called Mackian physics. It should be based entirely on directly observable phenomena. It should completely eschew to absolute space and time in favor of relative motion. Any phenomena that would seem attributable to absolute space and time should instead be seen as emerging from the large-scale distribution of matter in the universe. The last is singled out, particularly by Albert Einstein as the Max Principle. Einstein cited it as one of the three principles underlying general relativity. In 1930, he stated that it is justified to consider Mach as the precursor of the general theory of relativity, though Mach, before his death, would reject Einstein's theory. Einstein was aware that his theories did not fulfill all Mach's principles, and no subsequent theory has either, despite considerable effort. Phenomenological constructivism. According to Alexander Riegler, Ernst Mach's work was a precursor to the influential perspective known as constructivism. Constructivism holds that all knowledge is constructed rather than received by the learner. He took an exceptionally non-dualist, phenomenological position. The founder of radical constructivism, von Glazersfeld, gave a nod to Mach as an ally. Physiology in 1873, independently of each other Mack and the physiologist and physician Joseph Brewer discovered how the sense of balance functions, tracing its management by information which the brain receives from the movement of a fluid in the semicircular canals of the inner ear. That the sense of balance depended on the three semicircular canals was discovered in 1870 by the physiologist Friedrich Goltz. But Goltz didn't discover how the balance sensing apparatus functioned. Mack devised a swivel chair to enable him to test his theories. 
and Floyd Ratcliffe has suggested that this experiment may have paved the way to Mach's critique of a physical conception of absolute space and motion psychology. In the area of sensory perception, psychologists remember Mach for the optical illusion called Mach bands. The effect exaggerates the contrast between edges of the slightly differing shades of gray, as soon as they contact one another, by triggering edge detection in the human visual system. More clearly than anyone before Mac made the distinction between what he called physiological and geometrical spaces. Mac's views on mediating structures inspired B.F. Skin a strongly inductive position, which paralleled Max in the field of psychology. Upon him's in homage his name was given to Mac a lunar crater, Mac bands, an optical illusion, 3949 Mac, an asteroid, Mac number, the unit for the velocity of sound, Mac's principal works in English, the science of mechanics, the analysis of sensations, popular scientific lectures, the principles of physical optics, knowledge and error, principles of the theory of heat, fundamentals of the theory of movement perception.